Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video I'm going to cover how to use Cheat Engine on Windows 11 to spawn in items for Dark Souls Remastered, Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, and Dark Souls 3. So the Dark Souls series has a massive replay value with a wide variety of builds that you can put together, but if you're a bit of a completionist like myself, you might want to get all of these achievements, which unfortunately are locked behind leveling up the various covenants in the games. In most cases this is linked to the PvP aspect of the game which is now impossible as the multiplayer servers are currently shut down, at least for the two earlier entries in the series. So what's the alternative? Well you can farm for literal hours to get the covenant specific or unique items to drop from enemies within the game, but as someone that's already got these games on console, I've already done this and if I'm honest it's tedious as hell. So on that basis I'm going to show you how to use Cheat Engine to spawn in these items instead. The first step in the process is to download and install Cheat Engine. Now you can find Cheat Engine and download it from the GitHub project page and all you need to do is click on the releases tab on the right hand side and then download and run the latest exe file. Now one thing just to bear in mind before you run this, this will likely get flagged by any anti-malware software so you will need to add an exception in order to run the installation package. Another thing to bear in mind is that the installation package does come with some additional software, but I recommend you just click skip all on that and then continue the process. Once the process is finished, click on the finish button and then Cheat Engine will load up for you. So the second step of the process is to install some game cheat tables. And we need to download the appropriate ones for the particular games. For both Dark Souls Remastered and Dark Souls 2 Scholar First Sin, we need to download the cheat table as well as the stealth edit plugin. And for Dark Souls 3, you just need the cheat table. Now I will list in the description a link to all of these, but since this step is the same for all of the games, I'm only going to cover Dark Souls Remastered at this point in the video. So from the website, you want to download the stealth edit.zip as well as the Dark Souls Remastered.ct file. Once they're downloaded, I recommend you extract the archive for the stealth plugin. And also move this from a location other than your downloads. In my case, I have a folder called Cheat Engine in my Documents folder, and I've just pasted everything into there. What we need to do now is run the Dark Souls Remastered uh, Cheat Engine, so double click on that. And then within the settings itself, go to Edit, Settings, Plugins, and make sure you've now added the Stealth Edit DLL. If you don't know how to do that, I'll just remove it and I'll show you. So click to Add New, navigate to where it is, in this case it would be Cheat Engine, Folder, and make sure you add the x86-64.el. Double click on that, give it a tick, click OK, and then close down at Cheat Engine. All you need to do at this point is repeat the same applicable steps for Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, and then Dark Souls 3. So the first step now that we've done all the prep is we need to spawn in the items within the games themselves. Now the, the process of spawning items within both Dark Souls Remastered and Scholar of the First Sin are identical. However, Dark Souls 3 uses a slightly different method. I also strongly recommend that if you're going to be using Cheat Engine to run these games offline, and I'm not going to be held responsible if you get yourself banned. Okay, so the first one I'm going to demonstrate is Dark Souls Remastered. Let's launch the game as normal. Make it a bit easier for this recording, I'm going to launch it in a window. You can probably hear me clicking away. And then load my save game. So here I am in Anna Londo. So in a separate window, I'm going to open Cheat Engine. So let's go to File Explorer, Documents, Cheat Engine, and we're going to choose the Dark Souls Remastered option here. Okay, from Cheat Engine, I want to go to the computer icon, and I want to find the service, which in this case would be Dark Souls Remastered, or Process rather than Service. Choose the option here to keep the current address list and code list. Click Yes. And now what I want to do is go to the option here where it says Active, Open, and I want to choose, scroll down to where it says Helpers, and then Item Swap. So let's just open that up for a second. Now the way this works is that in Dark Souls Remastered and Scholar of the First Sin, you drop an item from within your inventory, and then apply the Cheat Engine, and then the item you dropped will change to whatever value you choose. So I'm just going to move that across there, so hopefully we can see this happening in real time. So let's go back to the game. Go to my inventory, and... You have to download an item that can have more than one. So you couldn't, for example, drop the blue eye orb because there's only one. However, I can drop a cracked red eye orb. We'll go to drop, 
we go OK. And then if we move across back to the cheese engine, as you can see, it's now filled in that value here. So to change that to whatever you want, double click on it. And you have an option here to choose from anything within the game that's available for you to equip. Uh, let's, let's not go crazy. Let's change that to a Titanite. And yeah, why not? Let's go for the Titanite catch pull. That's a rare item. Uh, click OK. And then now if we go back to the game and we pick it up, we have a Titanite catch pull. Now you can also do this for multiple items as well. So for example, if you were trying to level up the Case Covenant, which requires you to have 30 humanity, assuming you have 30 of another object, you could drop the 30 items, change it using Cheat Engine, and then pick it up as the 30 humanity. And the same process can be repeated for Dark Souls 2 Skull of the First Sin. So the process for Dark Souls 3 is a little bit different. So once again, I'm going to launch this game as normal. Click on continue. Okay, so here I am in the Ashes and Iron Dale place. So once again, let's open up Cheat Engine. Documents. Cheat Engine. And then Dark Souls 3. Once again, click on the computer at the top. Choose the process, in this case Dark Souls 3. But yes. And this time we're going to actually spawn in items into the game rather than do the option where you drop the items. So click on the little option down here. You'll probably get a prompt saying yes. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, and we want to go to scripts, build creation, and then item gib. Now this will allow you to spawn in any item that's available in the game. Now this will also allow you to spawn in weapons, armors, and spells with upgraded levels and infusions. Now obviously if you're going to do this, choose something that is legit, as so-called illegal weapons will trigger a ban. So don't try and put an infusion on a weapon that can't normally get it within the game. So in this case, we're going to choose under item number, double click the value, ember, uh, let's go for, what should we go for? Go on, we'll go for some titanite again. Go for a titanite chunk, click OK. And then under quantity, max will basically fill your inventory with titanite chunks, which is a crazy thing to do, but hey, uh, I'm going to be sensible. We're going to put two in there. Uh, where it has the upgrade level, that is referring to any spawned weapons. So as you can see here, you can put plus zero all the way to plus ten. And the same thing applies to armor as well. Uh, infusion, you can pre-infuse them as well if you want. Again, choose something that's legit. And dur durability, I think you could possibly change it so it's broken. Yeah, broken or normal. Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, either way, click on here to spawn the item. And there you go. Two tiny chunks have now been spawned into your game. And they will appear as normal in your inventory. Either way, that is how to use Cheat Engine with the Dark Souls series. So in conclusion, Cheat Engine is a fantastic tool for time saving, especially for leveling up Covenants offline, or for even just creating new and exciting builds for playing through the game once again. And although you can use it, obviously, to make your character invincible, you end up risking the ban your character getting banned, so honestly, it's not really worth it. Thanks for watching guys, and if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye now!